So I'm out at another fire tower today. This one is off of uh, 441 going up into Athens. And it's a, uh, it's a big one. I talked to a man that lives down the road here. He said it was put here in the 1950s and that he saw it brought in with a helicopter. We are standing right over there on the day they did it. He also said that back in the 50s and 60s, this was the hangout spot for all the kids in town. They'd come and park the cars out here around the tower and sit up here on the first and second floors and hang out. This was the, this was the place to be, I guess. Now this one, Forest Service doesn't maintain anymore, although I think they still might own it. And they stopped using it back in the late 90s. Now it's more efficient, cost effective to fly aircraft over the state every day. Also, it's a lot easier for your random person to just take out their cell phone and call in a fire instead of having someone sit up here at the top of this tower for 12 hours a day. Now, I've been up this one before. I know for a fact there are a lot of birds that like to live up here. Unless something's changed, there's probably about three inches of bird poop on the floor of the cab. Here we are, oh yeah. Ooh. This sort of the birds have definitely been up here. Let's see. There you go. Circuit box for the old radio. chair while I want you would sit in. As a matter of fact, I think, I don't know if y'all can see that, there's some smoke right over there. Huh. Yeah, the birds have definitely been in here though. Let's see, there's a, there's a hole in the window here. I'm going to try to see if I can get kind of an outside shot. If I, uh, if I drop my phone, I guess it'll be a cool video. Well, I didn't drop my phone, so that's good. Uh, this right here is the firefinder stand. What the firefinder is, is it's a circle. It would sit up here and had 360 degree marks on it. So, and zero degrees was facing north. So, when I see a smoke, like that one over there, I take it and I turn the needle that was pointing in the direction of the smoke. And from there, you'd have a reading, let's say, I don't know, let's say 76 degrees. So then you go over here, 
we can look at your map, or what used to be a map, then you find where your point is in the tower, usually in the middle, and then you'd get a ruler and you'd look at a line, and then you'd be able to radio in the spot where the spire is. Now if it was too far away, or you didn't have a map, or you didn't know where it was, you'd have to get another tower somewhere else to do the same thing. Then what you get is called a cross. So you have a degree mark, they have a degree mark, and then right where those two lines cross, that's where the fire is. Great view up here, though. Well, I hope you've enjoyed today's fire tower with Rob. Hopefully, I'll be able to climb some more and show you folks around. But um, this is definitely cool because a lot of times the cab isn't open. It's usually closed up. All right. Thank y'all.